back for more Beyond Skyrim Bruma this episode. Talking to uh, Ed, 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 the, the, the politics often gets too way more work. than you might think. Between the Count, the White Gold Concordat, and all the other treaties, the rules are constantly changing. All I want to do is protect these people, jail criminals, earn my keep. Then the damned wind changes, and with it, the law. And then, what do you know, I'm supposed to jail this group, and that group, and the other group. And for what? For politics. Despite it all, though, I wouldn't trade this job for the world. It's rewarding, fulfilling, and at least it lets me provide for myself and my family. You're from the Imperial City. Yep, me and my family. Wife and children are still there, in fact. That's because the place is swarming with people. Hard to find any work. Came up here, couldn't find much work either. Joined the guard on a whim. Saw a lot, rose to the ranks. And now I'm guard captain. Funny how things work out. I try to take my duties seriously. And send as much as I can back to my loved ones. What's this about Akaviria heirlooms? A whole lot of uproar about nothing, that's what. The Count's been nagging my life and soul out about the damn things. You see, the Carvanes have a sort of mm -hmm. family tradition. They've acquired a taste for Akaviri artifacts, constantly collecting more and more. Been going on for centuries now. Well, it turns out poor old Count Decilus... <coughs> Count Carvane? isn't too happy that his collection's been stolen. Tone tensions? No, not tensions as such, just... I'm tired. I've had four sleepless nights in a row. The Count's talking my ear off about these artifacts and it's stopping me from tending to more important issues. Uh, not that I'm disloyal to Count Carvane, of course. I've never had reason to dislike our ruler. Better him than some of the other counts and countesses in the province. Mention more important yes, issues. Yes, this damned artifact business doesn't affect anyone except the count. While I'm out chasing after shiny baubles, people are getting killed by bandits and waylaid on the road. No, that ain't important. I mean, we've got Thorina's cutters roaming the Geralds and harrying travelers for Stendar's sake. And I'm wandering Bruma after trinkets, like some lost paint horse looking for its master. Need you some help? I... Well, that's... Ah, oh, who am I kidding? Absolutely. This is driving me crazy. Just bring them back to me when you've found them, and I'll be extremely appreciative. And I mean extremely appreciative. Seriously. I feel like offing myself right about now. How did the thief get inside the castle? I have no idea how they'd manage that, honestly. Either adept stealth or good luck. Probably a bit of both. How? I'm not too sure on the details of that, to be honest. Rignar, the castle steward, was the first one who noticed them missing. Might be worth speaking to him, if you think that's interesting evidence to dig up. Have any suspects? Not in particular. Then again, the low lives of Bruma don't exactly hide themselves all that well. The shadier tavern in town, the restful watchman, full of thieves, bandits, thugs, and other miscreants, might be a decent place to start your search. What exactly was stolen? Akaviri artifacts. I don't know anything more specific than that. Rignar and the Count both told me, but honestly, it flew in one ear and out the other. <laughs> If you want to know exactly what artifacts to keep your eyes peeled for, talk to Rignar. I'm sure he can help you more there. What? Why would the thieves want the artifacts? Monetary value? Oh, or? Most definitely the resale value. Akaviri artifacts are very often one of a kind, and they can fetch a very high price to the right buyers. Someone possessing those artifacts could find themselves becoming very wealthy very quickly. I suspect that's the motive here. Okay. Uh, so I lied. We're going to do this <laughs> right after we turn in th this quest. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to just... Bye. Do this real quick. So I can just turn in that quest. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, this is a, a 
a nod to uh, the Count Countess in Bruma from Oblivion, who is collecting a ton of Activator artifacts, trying to go on a fucking like grand expedition to the Ibrock or something like that. I'm a little bit fuzzy on what exactly happened. It's times like these that one hey, you! Remember, a life full of adventure uh, is the only life them. worth living. Are you an adventurer? Well, I would be, but unfortunately, I've got some debts to pay off. I've been doing odd jobs around town to help raise the symptoms. Kind of death. Sorry, oh, lad. That's something a man soon. like me keeps private. I feel good. You know, I think you're Stop right. Stop calling. Don't tell anyone, though, okay? Oh. Well, you see, my friend, for as long as myself. I can remember, oh, I've always wanted to go to Skyrim. Soul. The Nords, their culture, their history. It all just appeals to me. Unfortunately, something's always kept me tied here to Bruma. First, it was my ma, who was sick for a long time. And then it was, well, let's just say that my appreciation for Nord culture led me to sharing their fervent worship of a uh, certain god, shall we say. Mm. And unfortunately, someone found out. In the end, this someone promised not to sell me out to Armion. But in return for this favor, they require a very large sum of money. So that's the debt I owe now. I've been trying to work it off ever since then. Maybe I can help you. Lad, I'm sure you get all sorts of people coming to you asking for help. But I've got myself into this mess, so I'm going to get myself out. Thanks for the offer, though. You are a true friend. You're giving me the money. Hey, dude. See you. Have you played back the Memory Gems recording for the captain? When is he arresting that damnable innkeeper? Yeah, he ain't. Zarxus' backside. I'm leaving this awful town. I've had enough of this cretinous Cyrodiil. I'm returning to Alinor. At least there I'm not assailed by lustful lizards. Can I help you? Okay, let's see Darkito. He's somewhere up here. Hi. You, you gave our dog away. How could you do such a thing? How do you know that? Tell me about Giukiani. We're not all that interesting a family, truth be told. Though I'm sure Albecius will rattle on about how influential we are. He's tooting his own horn a little too much on that subject. He wishes we were influential, and the gods know he's trying his hardest to make it so. But for now, we're just like any other moderately wealthy family. We attend private parties and have fineries, but we're certainly not pulling the strings of the Elder Council as much as Albecius wishes otherwise. Tell me about yourself. I'm Ruccia of the Jukani family. Not really much more to tell. Talk to you later. Goodbye. See you around. Bye. Farewell. Talk to you later. Goodbye, friend. Leaving already? Oh, all right. See you. <laughs> Good riddance. Great, fine. Don't talk to me again. Now go away. Now go away. <coughs> Be gone. Now. Damn elves. Damn lizards. Damn cats. Damn orcs. Until next time. <coughs> put that down. Leave that alone. Hello? Hmm? Can I help you? What is it? What do you want, elf? Yes, or <laughs> Hey, elf friend! It's good to see a familiar face around here, I think friend. She, I think she what put all of her lines in friend? one dialogue script, ah, and it's good to see you. <laughs> Any elf as nice as you is a friend to me. What do you need? <laughs> what? Oh, great. It's you. What do you want? <coughs> Get away from me. Leave me alone, will you? How about you go back where you came from, elf? What do you want, Argonian? Keep moving, Khajiit. Good morning. Good afternoon. Can I leave? <laughs> Good evening. Alright, we're doing this the old-fashioned way. Let's see if this works. <laughs> oh, fuck. What is it? There we go. Can I help you? Woo, lad! <laughs> See you gave our dog away. How could you do such a thing? That was fucking funny. <laughs> How you doing? Good afternoon. Well, am 
This is a bit of a surprise. <laughs> what brings you to my stall? See you. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. All right, <laughs> definitely a bug that should be fixed. <laughs> I don't know why it was all under one dialogue thing. I mean, we got to hear literally everything for orcs, for Argonians, for Khajiits. The whatever. restful watchmen. Rooms and food, that's what we do. What do you need? My Serendil has left. Ah, uh, that's good to hear. Thank you. Here, take a little bit of coin on the house. Oh, and have this. It's a leftover memory gem that one of the guys took out of the elf's pocket when he was passed out on the floor. Might fetch a decent sum. Sweet. Is there anything about stolen Akaviri heirlooms? I don't tend to gossip about my patrons. Bad for business, you know. Especially when you're in my line of work. Don't want any, any legal complications. Well, true enough. There's this Breton guy who comes through here every now and again. Sleaziest guy I've ever seen. Except for me, of course. Got a reputation to maintain, you know? Name's Atien, Or something like that. Anyway, he mentioned something to do with Akaviri trinkets while we spoke. Mentioned wanting to sell them or something. I guess he's your man. Where can I find uh, him? Uh, I don't know. Listen. Do you really think I'm going to tell you everything about my customers? That's a sure way to get run out of this business. Don't play dumb. Listen, you want me to tell you so badly? I'm not budging until I've been forced to, legally. You know what I'm getting at, I assume. You here to do business? Damn elves. What is your people problem? Pe pe people problem. What are you doing gawking at me? Shoo! I've given you a task! Unless you think you've found the culprit. I guess I wasn't able, but alright, whatever. I wasn't able to ask me these questions earlier. Power. I didn't get it directly from whoever ordered it. The steward gave me the job, but the steward gives out all the jobs. I doubt he even knows where the order came down from. What do they want with your life? I wish wife. I knew. Actually, no, I'm, I'm glad I don't. I don't want to think about it. It can't be good. We'd made it far and done the job expertly. There were only a few bandits left. Then, suddenly, we're ambushed from behind, knocked to the floor, and restrained like dogs. I know coincidences, and this certainly wasn't one. Too meticulous, too perfect, too pre-planned. Goodbye. Can I help you? Oh, let's see what that memory gem does. Oh, fuck. That hurt. Okay. Oh, here we go. Let me see if we can play it. That'd be funny. Oh, it's, there's blood on the crown. Uh, okay. Hey, oh, gardens. A healer. Don't suppose I can hire you. What papers you got? Looking for the news. Hey. Let's let's just get all these. Until next time. We had various ones, so I know Black Horse. Imperial War Galley sunk. Those boats. Da -da 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 -da. Six sailors. Oof. Nern Theater. <laughs> All right. Cool. Now, there were obviously more. It was the Nib and Herald lost. I don't even know what that means. The Nern Herald, because a good story, or Nib and Herald, make is more, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, here's the, the theater. 
Let's see. There was another one that I bought, and I don't remember what it was. Ah, uh, here we go. Colovian Chronicle. Fighter Guild Expanding. A dull blade means a dead you. Wise words. You know what's even more satisfying than arresting a criminal? What a good thought. Right, let's go see what we can ask uh, the Count and uh, the Steward Man, because we have not gotten him. Ragnar or whatever his name is, we didn't actually talk to them at all. How you doing? Can I help you? Nope. Hello, Count. Welcome to our fair city. What brings you to Bruma? Well, there are things in there. You are fake news. What can you tell me about Bruma? Bruma is the jewel of the Gerald Mountains. A strong and hardy city. Imperial in name but equally Nordic by blood. And while the county surrounding her is frosty, as Viscount Carvain says, the hearts of our people burn brighter than the warmest hearth. We have our share of problems, I won't deny that. But Bruma is a prosperous county given the times. Compared to Shadenhall and Breville, Bruma might as well be paradise. And at least we were spared the horrors of the Great War. Mostly. Yeah, didn't the uh, Imperial Army camp up here? Tell me about yourself. I am De Silas Carvain. I have the singular honor of acting as Count of Bruma, defending her walls and ruling over her people. I am young, and I know some use this as ammunition with which to criticize me, but they are short-sighted, and they are foolish. I act in the best interest of Bruma at all times. I will always fight valiantly to defend her from threats both within and without. That is what matters. Uh, what, how did the Great War affect Burma? It didn't, mostly, and thank the Divines for that. Of course, there were Dominion scouts roaming the Geralds on occasion, but that's to be expected. Minor skirmishes are not what people refer to when they speak of the horrors of the Great War, though. They mean the Battle of the Red Ring. They mean the sacking of Anvil. And these are evils that Bruma was spared. Her walls remain unharmed, and her buildings remain upright. That being said, Cyrodiil herself reels after the Great War, emotionally and psychologically. It took its toll on the whole province, and Bruma is no exception. Bruma may be spared the physical scars of the Great War, but the mental scars? They run just as deep here as they do anywhere. What's it like being the Count? It's a complicated task, let's put it that way. On the one hand, there are the Imperials. On the other, there are the Nords. And then, there are the other cultures to contend with as well. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that the Stormcloak Uprising in Skyrim has... ...complicated things, to a certain extent. But I'm proud to serve Bruma, and her people. How does Bruma fare? Well enough, I suppose. The Great War mostly spared Bruma, thank the Divines for that. Most of Cyrodiil didn't have such good fortune. Any troubles? Not particularly, no. I certainly don't envy my friends across the border in Skyrim, though. These are truly dark times for the Empire. Let us hope that this storm blows over, as of all the rest. But something makes me think this one's different. I fear Tamriel will never be the same again. If it's work you seek, speak with my Viscount, Marcius Carvain. He's more likely to have work for you than I. He spends most of his time in the castle. Goodbye. Mm, okay. Rignar, nice sword. Hmm? I'm the Count's Tuvud here in Hey, it's if there Blood is anything old man. You need, I'll try my best to help. Marcius Carve, Viscount Bruma. The title garners a lot of respect and a fair few privileges. Anyway, how can I help you? What does a Viscount do? As Viscount, I'm a sort of secondary Count, if you will. I deal with a lot of the same duties as the Count, albeit deferring to him. Often, when the Count is busy with other matters, he delegates lesser affairs to me. What's it like? It's quite interesting. It also affords me a fair amount of respect. Being the Count's second in command is no mean feat. What's going on? The usual honest citizens, wild animals, bandits, all in one melting pot. That and stubborn Talos worshippers. They've always been a risk to Bruma since the Concordat. Old habits die hard. 
He wrote a book? Yes, an explorer's guide to Skyrim. Very oh. popular in Skyrim. Seems to turn up in the most unusual of places. Hey. Goodbye. Um, yo, dude. Hey, it's an Akaviri sword. Hey, it's... I can, I, can, I can steal it, I guess. Oh, it's slightly sticking out of it. You see that? <laughs> what a great game Skyrim is. Sigmund! Or Simon. Up oh, next time. Things. Thank you all for watching.